Happy Easter! Now I know we are not meeting in the building, which is kind of a little bit of a bummer, but I have a surprise today. I know it's Easter. I didn't want it to be just a normal uh, video for you guys this week. So I brought someone special and she brought a show and tell to show you. So I would like to introduce, most of you know her, my amazing daughter, Jade. Jade, come over here. And what Hi do you guys, have here? I have my bunny. His name's Will and he's three years old. And I thought I'd bring him today to show you guys because it's Easter and He's like an Easter bunny, so. <laughs> <laughs> what, what does he eat? He Mother likes to bunny. eat kale. Also, he eats like hay, and um, he eats pellets, which are just like healthy, the healthy part of his diet, so. He's very soft. Yeah. Does he, uh, so does he just like drop his little rabbit droppings everywhere he goes? Yeah, he has a litter box, but sometimes he just, he just poops everywhere, but oh, no. yeah, he usually goes in the litter box and he's pretty easy to take care of. He seems pretty yeah. chill. He's very soft. How old is he? He's three years old. What he's he... going to be turning four in September. And what's so. he like to do? Um, he likes to play in my front yard and he has uh, a friend. Her name's Alice. She's at home. Um, I just brought one today, but he likes to play with Alice in my front yard in the grass. But, yeah. What do they play? Do they, they like, play baseball or anything? No, they just hop around, <laughs> eat the grass. You know, it's good for them to exercise outside. That's true, cool. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for sharing your awesome bunny, mm -hmm. Will. Yep. Love him. Okay. So anyway, wanted to bring my daughter in. She could show her, her awesome rabbit, Will, to you guys. Um, he's pretty cool. Now, one thing I want to mention about Easter, because it is springtime, we think of the rabbit, and we think of bunny, and on Easter we think of that. Now, he knows this, and he probably doesn't want to say it, but the Easter bunny knows that Easter is actually about Jesus. Actually about Jesus, not really about the Easter bunny, so he probably doesn't want to t say it or tell you, but it's a fact. And I would say that Easter is the most important holiday of all the holidays. I would say that Easter is even more important than Christmas. And you're probably saying, <gasps> what? No way, Eric. To which I will reply, Yahweh. So anyways, let me explain why Easter is the ultimate holiday, all right? Christmas, which we love. I love Christmas. I love everything about Christmas. Right? I love the Christmas trees, the presents, the family, the cooking, the Christmas lights everywhere. I just love Christmas. And it's about baby Jesus, which is awesome. Christmas is about God coming down and being born in a miracle as a human to be with us, to live here on this planet with us. But here's the thing, Easter is when we celebrate when he fulfilled his promise, when he died on the cross on Good Friday, and then a few days later he was resurrected. And in doing that, he completed his goal of paying for our sins so that we can live with him forever. So here's the thing. That's great, Jesus was born and we should celebrate that because it's a miracle. But if Jesus didn't die for our sins, or if he died on the cross and he wasn't resurrected, then we wouldn't really have a reason to celebrate Christmas. You see, Easter is what God was building up to this whole time. Remember, we've just talked about in the last two weeks how God created everything and it was good. He created us people and it was good before sin entered in. And then when sin entered in, we kind of separated from God because we had sin and we couldn't be with God. And God doesn't like that because he created you to love you. God loves you and he wants to be with you forever. And so Easter is that. Easter is God getting his way by having Jesus die on the cross and making a way so that we could be with him forever in eternity. So that's why Easter is the most important holiday. Without that, everything else kind of doesn't mean anything because we wouldn't get to go to heaven. So Easter to me is amazing. So I know you're at home. I have a lot of cool stuff for you as, as normal. Uh, let me go over some of that. First of all, 
Robin has another craft for you guys, which is great. I'll go over that, it's really easy. It's nothing for you to download. This is what it's gonna look like. All right, you got a cross right here. And the way that you make it is you're gonna need tape. Now, painter's tape, like this blue tape or masking tape works best. You could try it with, with regular invisible tape, but what you do is you just put it on the paper in the form of a cross, and then you can get crayons, markers, whatever you want. I think Robin said she used watercolor paint. If you have that, you could do that too. And then you just color however you wanna color over this whole thing. You can make it however you want, and when you're done, if you're using paint, when it dries after a while, you take the, uh, the what was it, the tape off, and then you're left with the space right here in the shape of a cross where you're either your paint or your marker didn't touch and it looks pretty cool. So I think she used stickers for this. You don't have to, if you don't have those stickers, you could write whatever you want, but that's a cool craft you can do. It's a cool idea. Thank you so much. This is Robin Good. She also has this for you guys. And I don't really understand it, although I built it. So parents, if I could build it, you can build it. It comes with two sheets, and this is the instructions. And when you cut it up and fold it, it does one of these things, all right? And so it's got cool little pictures. He has risen life, and you go like this. And then underneath all of these, there's little questions and answers, right? That are, that are all about Easter. So there's that for you. And then there's also coloring page right here and an activity page for you to do as well. So a lot of fun stuff for you. Activity page is there's words down here, resurrection, tomb, death, burial, and all of those are hidden somewhere on here. You gotta find all the little words uh, in the empty tomb where Jesus was. And then he wasn't because he was resurrected. So all that is in the description below, along with a link to the YouTube video for our Easter story. Uh, I played this, we played this Easter story in House Kids for a couple of years now, the video. The kids love it, I even love it. It's the one where they introduce Jesus and he's like, hey uh, So it's pretty humorous, it's cool. Um, that's in there. And then also all that other stuff, all the other activities are in there as well for you. Um, miss you guys. I'm praying for you. I hope that today that you have thankful hearts on because this is a day again, like I mentioned, that we can be grateful and thankful that God did what he did so that we can be with him forever. So he's resurrected. Um, Jesus is alive right now in heaven and he's making a place for us. So we have a lot to be thankful for. I hope you guys have a blessed day in your homes with your family. Happy Easter.